Hi everyone, this is TMEA A2 number 19, okay? Uh, one, one important thing to remember with all of these is to read the performance guide for this that's on the TMEA website. So Dr. Geist, who selected the etudes this year, uh, he's written a very informative perform performance guide for these, and that's absolutely required reading, okay? Uh, a couple things that he mentioned I just want to highlight. Start slow, so with any of these etudes, you know, never play it faster than you can play it correctly, all right? So start slow when you're learning this. Um, with all of the articulation that's in here, keep the air moving fast behind the articulation. Air is going to be what drives our articulation, keeps it light, uh, and gives it good response, okay? So really keep that fast, pressurized air behind your articulations. Uh, clipping the ends of the slur when there's a staccato after it. So when you have three slurred one tongue, for example, we're going to clip the end of that slur when it's followed by a staccato, okay? That's sort of a general rule, and uh, we see it all the time in this one. The articulations change a lot in here, and we're going to talk about that in a second, but really pay attention to the different uh, articulation patterns in the number 19 here, okay? So let's talk about a few things. Obviously, the sort of more challenging part of this etude is in the middle, right? So measures 10 through 24, for example, okay? Uh, this is where there's a lot of flats and a lot of D flats, a lot of E flats. And, and, you know, there are places where you can make a decision. Are you going to play the D flat on the left or are you going to play the D flat on the right? And in many places, it's up to you. I mean, you, it's, it's your option, okay, how you want to do it. But however you want to do it, make sure you have a plan. Write it down. Make sure you have a pinky plan and you know where your pinkies are going here on these keys, okay? Now, in some places, we don't have a choice, right? In some places in here, uh, there's really sort of only one way to do this. So let's take a look. Let's me measure 18 and measure 20. Let's take a look at these. So at the end of these measures, uh, the editor has put in here slide. Slide from the E flat down to the D flat. E flat down to the D flat there, okay? And, and what can, what's going to help that is that we're going to clip the end of that slur. That is, we're clipping the E flat. So there's a little bit of space between the E flat and the D flat. So we get to the E flat and then we pull our pinky down to the D flat key there, all right? So in measure 18, We're going to clip the E flat and we're going to pull our pinky down to that D flat key. And it's the same thing in measure 20, right? Same notes. Now, many of you may have an alternate E flat key on the left. And if you have that, this is the place to use it, right? So you're going to use that left hand E flat key in measure 18. Then you go to right hand D flat, okay? Then we go to left hand C, right hand E flat, left hand A flat in the next measure. So that's how you're going to do that, all right? So if you have the alternate E flat key on your clarinet, absolutely, this is the place to use it. Uh, if you don't, then we're going to pull the right hand pinky down from the E flat key to the D flat key, okay? So that's how that's going to happen. Um, measure 21. Measure 21, we're going to pull uh, the E flat, the pinky on the E flat key down to the C key on beat two. So in measure 21, we've got so that we can get back up to the A flat key with our left hand pinky, all right? So at the end of beat one, in measure 21, we're gonna be on the E flat, and then on beat two, when we go from the E flat to the C, we're gonna pull the pinky down to the C key. And again, what's helping that is that we're putting a little bit of space, right? Because the E flat is staccato. So we're putting a little bit of space there between uh, the E flat and the C, so it's gonna allow us to get that pinky down. Okay, that's how we're going to do that one. All right, so you have to work on that there. Um, pay attention to the differing articulation patterns in this. So the articulation patterns always seem to be changing. Um, look at measure 25. So here we have a G chord, and it's one tongue, two slurred, one tongue, right? One tongue, two slurred, one tongue. But then, when we get to measure 26, and we come back down, 
Now it's three slurred, one tongue. So, right? So just making, you know, paying attention to that. Again, measure 29. So measure 29 is the return of the material from the beginning. And in the beginning, it's slur two, tongue two, right? Measure 29, it's three slurred, one tongue. So, so just, you know, really making sure that you're paying attention to these constantly changing articulations, all right? Uh, start slow, okay? If you want to start so slow that you've got your metronome on the eighth click, that's awesome. I think that's really great. But eventually, you want to be feeling a quarter note click here in this particular atrial, okay? So start slow, take your time. Good luck.